Let's get to this week's waiver wire pickups. Let's start with the quarterbacks. And All I right. think there, there are a few that are pretty obvious that are injury related, but one that is somehow inexplicably still available in a lot of your leagues that should not be. Please rectify this ASAP. Justin Fields uh, is still out there. It's insane. It's like people aren't paying attention to what's going on, but he needs to be picked up and started this week against my beloved. Sam Darnold. I mean, he's been fabulous. You know, he's a top five quarterback and he's still out there. You know, the matchup this week maybe isn't great, but it's the Jets and it's going to be a lot of fun. Andy Dalton didn't have a great game this past week, but he had a good game and he certainly sparked the Carolina offense. So he's worth adding. And then Joe Flacco. I would say this and I said it yesterday. If Joe Flacco starts against the Jaguars, I'd play him over Patrick Mahomes this week. Joe Flacco makes Patrick Mahomes look like Trent Dilfer if you look at their stats at the end of last season and this year from a fantasy perspective. How about the running backs, Fabs? I think Kareem Hunt's going to be the big one. He dominated the touches in the backfield. He knows the offense because he was in Kansas City. We remember he was a fantasy star. So Kareem Hunt is going to be a big time ad this week. He's going to be owned across the board after waivers run. Trey Sermon. I don't know if Taylor's playing this week as of right now, but you got to get Trey Sermon and Tyler Algier. Bijan Robinson, yes, he was much better, but Tyler Algier is getting some burn. And sometimes when the bye weeks are real tough, you need a backup running back to maybe have standalone flex value. And he's in that category. And maybe Tank Bigsby is too. Because Tank, there's been games where he's looked better than Etienne as a runner and he got some burn this past weekend. So uh, Bigsby also going to be worth a look off the wire. Alexander Madison might be floating around out there somewhere too. If you're desperate. So he's yep. also someone that you could go and try and grab off the wire. Four wide receivers. Wandell Robinson is a name that you banged the table for on Friday after Thursday night football. Worth putting on our radars once again. I mean, folks, it's four weeks into the season. You know, Lindsay said it perfectly. They funnel the ball to two wide receivers. And that offense, obviously Malik Neighbors and Wandell Robinson. So go pick them up. The good thing is that if you need help at wide receiver this week, there's some depth at the waiver wire. Xavier Leggett. The matchup this week against Chicago, I mean, maybe you flex him. Dontavian Wicks, who I know Lindsay loved in the preseason, started off, didn't do much, but Christian Watson's hurt. They got the Rams this week. You play all your Packers this week. The Rams defense is garbage. And Wicks is a startable asset. Trey Tucker, why? He's had two good games in a row and Devontae Adams may be on his way out, as we talked about at the top of the show. Josh Downs, also worth a look after a big game. Uh, but again, the Colts wide receivers and their value is really predicated on who the quarterback is. Yeah. So keep tabs on what happens with AR. Lots and lots of ways to play fantasy football. Do you guys know about Prize Picks? It's America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active users. Prize Picks is the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. All you do is pick more or less on two to six projections, stat projections, and you watch the winnings come rolling in. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. And now you can win up to 100 times your money on prize picks with as little as four correct picks. You know, in prize picks invented what's called the flex play. And that means you can still cash out if your lineup isn't absolutely perfect. Uh, you can double your money even if one of your picks doesn't hit. Uh, Jim Piacenti's lineups were perfect last weekend. They she won a bunch of money on Prize Picks. Um, she we scared shared a screenshot of that on the social media channels that we have here, Fantasy Dirt Pod. Uh, and uh, let's see, Saquon more than twenty two and a half receiving yards that cashed. Baker more than one and a half touchdowns. Uh, Godwin more than sixty five and a half receiving yards. How about Brian Thomas Jr.? She hit on that also more than forty seven and a half receiving yards. Anyway, she's gonna. To be here Wednesday and Friday and can point us in the right direction of a few of those types of player projections that you might want to get in on this week. All right, folks. So make sure you download the prize picks app today and you could use the code fantasy dirt and get $50 instantly when you play just $5. That's code fantasy dirt on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus, guys. It's guaranteed. Prize picks run your game. Uh, so Taysom Hill had two touchdowns last week. He's ridiculously volatile and he got hurt, but yeah. he's still worth a roster spot because he's the, you know, he's the jack of all trades who maybe one week he'll get you two, one week he'll get you 15. Tyler Conklin, who's playing across the pond against the Vikings, who gave up a massive stat line to, oh, by the way, Tucker Craft, who's also on this list. Yeah. Uh, against the Rams. And then Kate Otten, they play Thursday night against Atlanta. Kate Otten's had two good games in a row. His, his targets are, are going up. You know, they have a really good offense. 